Costa yesterday. We just ripped trees. Uh, Ty, Andreas, Matt and I had a pretty good day doing that. Today we're heading up into more sunny alpine terrain. I think we're gonna do less tree riding and more just alpine stuff. I'd really like to get some sweet photos um, to send to my sponsors and maybe hit a couple smaller jumps or maybe something bigger if we find it. So I'm gonna pack scoop shovels today instead of gas. And uh, we're also packing all of the camera gear and gonna try to capture some rad stuff. It's already 12.15, so kind of a late start, but we have daylight till like 7.30, so we can still get a good uh, seven, eight hours of riding in. Uh, we've been going relatively hard the last few days, and I think we're kind of worn out, so it's nice to sleep in and have a pretty chill morning. Oh. Ah. Matt just slapped my ass. Okay. Let's get a quick introduction for the crew today. We have Luke. You guys are familiar with Luke. We have Matt, who obviously you guys are familiar with. Chase. What's up? A couple more guys down here. We have Dawson. That's the 175 I was riding the other day. What is it now? It's a 165. 165, short one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then Dylan over here on the skidoo at the end. So the last avalanche slide was already shoveled out. This one's fresh. We're gonna shovel this real quick. Hopefully it's the last one. There might be a couple more. This one's kind of gnarly. It's like, there's not enough coverage to actually turn out if you don't make He's it. too scared. Off. I'm too scared too to scared side hill to this. Side -hill it. Apparently you are too, cause no, I'm not. you're no, here no, shoveling. No. I see one shovel moving and the rest of them sitting there. You guys are lazy. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? I'm capturing content. It's even more important than the shoveling. Look how hard that is. Good example of why avalanche shovels need to be strong. If anyone gets buried in something like this, they're dead. It's <laughs> true. All right, so we're finally leaving the logging road. We had a couple more slide paths, but they didn't need to be shoveled, so they weren't too bad. Um, we're getting close to Alpine, but we have a couple tree shoot things we gotta climb up, and then it should open up into big Alpine train. I think the snow is gonna be a lot better in the trees, down a little bit lower, so we might play that stuff first and then go up into the Alpine, but uh, not really sure, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So riding through these high exposure areas, we're going uh, one at a time. Matt knows his own best, so he's climbing up, posting up in a safe spot, radioing for the next guy to go. Um, I'm at the bottom here and gonna bring up the rear. Um, it's just, just minimizes our risk a little bit, having only one guy in the run out at a time. So if something did happen, you know, everyone else is safe and in a good spot to help um, the one guy that uh, got slid on or, you know, whatever the case was. Um, another important thing to note is like, if that one guy that's going blows a belt or gets stuck or something, he's on his own. Like the rest of the group's not going to go help him. 
we're just gonna patiently wait at the bottom till he unfucks himself and uh, you know gets out of it and then climbs back up because the more people that are on the slope, the higher the risk is for the entire group. I took a couple of test hits off this. It felt pretty good, but the way it's set up is that it's soft and then a hard cornice, um, and I can't get the proper pop off it to do what I want to do. So I'm going to shovel this lip out, pack a little snow in where that hole is, and I should get a nice smooth takeoff, and I should get it a lot better style, more height, and uh, more control. <laughs>
Nothing too wild happened today, but good views. Can't beat the views, man. Lots of wheelies and good views. Can't complain in the spring. <laughs> What is he doing? What, what are you doing? Great question. I didn't think it'd be that hard after walking on it. Right? I'm like, holy crap, I'm going for a ride. Yeah, that looked like it got scary. I don't want to do that. Now he's got me scared. That's kind of cliff right there. Not kind of, it is cliff. All of this is cliff. That technique's really good where you back up to get the track set into the snow before getting it on edge. <laughs> Matt got yeeted off the trail Woo! by a rock. Yeet. And there's a sled. At least it wasn't right up there and go right down the creek. <laughs> Way to be positive, Dawson. <laughs> no damage or what? Yeah, minor. Not too bad, really. Airbox. That's about it, honestly. I don't see no air. I'm just bad. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not pretty good, though. Yeah, that's, 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 that's hard, but... That's uh, not super kosher. I mean, I like trying to be strong, but not that strong. I might have to leave it till tomorrow and bring up a winch. <laughs> yeah, like a chainsaw winch or something. Bring the, that fucking side by side that Clayton has with the winch on it. Winch it right the fuck on it. Look at those arms. I can't believe it's stopped here, honestly. <laughs> hey, look at it. Clayton has that side by side yeah. with the winch. It would have stopped there. Yeah. If we go down, uh, no. Yeah, you don't really have any options over there either. Our only option is straight up. Matt's sled is out of fuel, so Dawson and I just ripped back to the truck because uh, we have some fuel here at the truck. Um, it's about 4K, 5K, uh, grabbing fuel and some more lights and then heading back in to keep working on Matt's sled. What's the damage report? Not really that bad. Uh, they do like part of the air box, it's chipped there. If you look in there, we got a little breakage there, just from the hood getting crushed down, I guess. Pretty minor, really. A little scratch on the on the screen here. I can't believe your screen didn't break. It does have a very small oh, crack. Oh yeah, it does. Pull up. It's in... Could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Handlebars aren't even bent, like.